What's going on guys? Etika here to bring you something very special. Now I managed to get a crazy hookup uh, two days ago from somebody who has access to the Titan Ball team. Anyways, I have an access code to the Titanfall the beta now and what we are going to be doing is playing through this amazing game. Now some of you may not have heard of this. This is a new game which is going to be coming out in March or April and it's going to be on the Xbox One and the PC. It's next gen out the ass and uh, no Xbox stop listening. Stop listening Xbox. Stop listening. Fucking hell. Anyways, this is going to be a crazy game. Like. Think about it. This game is Attack on Titan, Assassin's Creed, Mirror's Edge, and Call of Duty all mixed into one and having illegitimate children. That's exactly what this game is. It's amazing. But before we get into the actual multiplayer online, because I only played two online multiplayer matches, we have to go through the training. Because some of you might be confused as to how you move in the game or what the game's all about. Now, I do have another video that I uploaded alongside this one that will be an actual multiplayer match, which is insane in itself. So you can just leave this video and go to that video, which is uploaded right next to this one if you want to just see the online multiplayer and how it plays. But if you guys want to get a bit of understanding as to how the game functions and operates, come through the training with me right now. Anyways, we're not going to waste any time. Let's get into this training, man. It's going to be worth it, trust me. I mean, because some of you just might see some satisfaction from just knowing how the game operates and whatnot. Let's make sure this mic is on. Yeah, it's on. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go through the training. Full train. I can already hear some of the moans and groans, but if you don't wanna see this, go and see the multiplayer video that I uploaded right next to this. It's gonna be insane, man. And like I said, I played two matches of this shit. It is unlike any other FPS ever. Like, this is the first FPS I ever played in my life that I actually feel like I like. Like, I like playing this. It's very fun. It's fun. In COD, it's just a drive to not be killed, and it's just basically a drive to kill other people. But it's not really fun. It's just a competitive drive. But in this, sure, this is a competitive drive, but it is so much fun. I mean, the Titans, and the way you move in the game, oh, we'll see when we get into the training, because it's insane. As you can see, I'm running out of breath, because I'm just like, I just played a match. Oh my god. Anyways, let's go. This unit is authorized for military use only. Okay. Possession by an individual is a class one felony. Class one. Welcome this... to the Hammond Pilot Certification Simulator. Warning. Unregistered user detected. Key That's accepted. The... You do Training see the next gen graphics? Authorized. That's that next Welcome gen right pilot. there. To calibrate the AR display, please look at each of the red lights. Would you like to reverse the vertical look input? No, I would Visual not. Visual calibration complete. Simulator initializing. Hammond Industries pilot training pod. <sighs> you are free to move around the simulation. Please walk through the tunnel in front of you. Sprint through the tunnel. Yeah, so basics training, you know, movement. It actually starts you off at a really, really good pace because... Oh, I made it? Oh, yeah. It starts you off at a really good pace because it just shows you the basics and then you can get into more advanced stuff. But the way you move in this game is like Attack on Titan. You move in this game like Attack on Titan with the 3D maneuver gear. You'll see what I mean. Jump over the obstacle. For greater distance, jump while sprinting. So you have a, you have a, this jump game. Jump toward the edge of a surface to pull yourself up. You guys will see. Nicely done. This game has a lot in common with Attack on Titan. It has a lot in common with Mirror's Edge, which is a parkour type game. A As lot a pilot, of your most important piece of gear is your jump kit, which allows you to run on walls. Jump kit which allows you to run on walls. Did you hear that? Wall run across the gap to proceed. Let me show you the Attack on Titan shit I was talking about. Wall runs can be chained together to travel farther. Let's go. Try jumping from one wall run directly into another. Let's go. You see, Attack on Titan, Mirror's Edge, it, it, it has all those hallmarks. Sprint, then jump. Look, you can run up a wall. 
Thank you. Well you done. see? Now, I guess some of you might be saying, why are you getting so high at hype over just jumping and running? Because it's integrated into a Call of Duty style type fashion, you know? Like, it's Call You're of Duty with parkour. jumping, and wall running to make your way to the exit. Let's do it. All right, you can do, you're, you're a soldier doing this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Completion requirements met. You see that? Now imagine that kind of gameplay when you're on the battlefield. Jumping from the wall. Like, oh man, it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be insane. You're running, you, you're doing a static. You're running up the wall and you're shooting niggas. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm fucking up. <clears throat> ah. That's what I'm talking about, man. This shit, just get the concept in your brain because, like, this game just integrates that in such a crazy way. Like, it sounds like I'm hyping it up. Wait till you see it in action on the battlefield. Anyway, let's continue. There's even more to this that makes it like Attack on Titan. Because the jump gear, the jump gear, it's a lot like the 3D maneuver gear. Watch this. Jump kits extend your natural jumping ability. You can jump once more after leaving the ground. To cover even more distance, wait longer before starting the second jump. Double jump and mantle into the hole above to proceed. Attack on Titan. The 3D maneuver gear, running with a gun, mirror's edge, and the Assassin's Creed. Oh, you'll see where the Assassin's Creed comes in later on. Oh shit. Like, I'm not I'm not even joking. Like, when they said that this is going to be a game that redefines the FPS genre. I can understand where they're coming from. And this is just a beta. This is just a beta. Use wall running and double jumping to make your way to the exit. Use wall running and double jumping. So basically, basically he should have just said parkour your way to the exit. Because that, that makes a lot more sense to me. Let's go. Let's go. And you can double jump off the wall. Oh, you can. Oh, Lottie. Oh. This almost seems too broken for an FPS. This seems almost... Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Excellent navigational skills, pilot. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I do it for my country. I put it on for my city. I don't, I don't know what I meant. Cloaking, making yourself nearly invisible, is essential to pilot survival. To get past the sentries, cloak first, then move through the area quickly. Cloak, my nigga. Cloak! Not only can you pull off parkour, not only can you pull off a double jump, not only can you fucking run around a map like a Shingeki no Kyojin character, you can turn invisible. And this is an FPS like Call of Duty. Watch this shit. I'm fucking invisible. They can't see me. Well done. So if you're playing this... Cloaking does not last forever. Look at your cloak meter on the bottom left of your screen to monitor your remaining cloak time. So if you're playing this with other people, like COD online, right? You can parkour your ass, you can, you can cloak. So, and wait till you see the execution kills. I can jump off of a wall, land on somebody. Too bad you don't have a hidden blade, right? But you can, you can pull some shit, just... You turn invisible, niggas can't see you. Niggas, see, then when you jump, you turn visible right when you're about to hit the dude. Oh shit, look at that nigga. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh my god. This game encompasses so many functionalities and features that I like in popular titles in like Mirror's Edge. Quarter situations, you can kill silently with a melee attack. Get close to the target to melee. Oh. Nigga, wait till you see the- watch this shit. This shit is nasty. If you melee an opponent from behind, you will perform an execution. Meleeing an enemy from the front can be faster, but carries more risk of death. To continue, please pull your weapon. The weapon is empty. Load a fresh magazine. This is the Smart Pistol, an auto-targeting weapon. 
Get close enough to a valid target and the smart pistol will start locking on. Wait for a full lock before pulling the trigger. Use your smart pistol to neutralize the target. It locks onto them for you. It locks... This pistol locks onto your opponent and then you just... Target eliminated. That's it. The smart pistol can lock on to more than one target. And by the way, did you see that execution skill? Did you see that shit? He looked at me before he died. From the back. Eliminate all of the targets with your smart pistol. Look at this, you see? So imagine this, turn invisible, jump down, they can't see you. Oh, oh, whoops. Oh, you didn't even see that, that kick. Watch this. Oh, I think I can get them all at one time. Look, for all four of them at one time, smart pistol. Targets neutralized. Just like that. Some enemies, especially pilots, require multiple locks to kill with one trigger pull. Kill the pilot with your smart pistol. And... Target down. One, one press. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. One press. Now, the, the crazy part about this, this works even on the battlefield when you're playing with other people. So you can pull shit like this on the battlefield. So you... I mean, I guess it takes out some skill of aiming, but there is some, still some kind of aiming that you can do. And still some that you can't really, like, this doesn't just make the game broken, trust me. It looks like it does. It's helpful, Switch but it doesn't. Switch to your rifle. To take a more calculated shot, you can aim down the sights of your weapon. Destroy all of the targets in the shooting range. All targets eliminated without a magazine swap. Your ammunition conservation has been noted. Ooh, am that didn't happen before. Ammunition conservation has been noted. Whoa. So Throw I get treats. a grenade into each of the windows. You know, grenade. Like, the convenient part about this is that all the buttons for the normal functions of what you do in a first-person shooter are exactly the same as Call of Duty. So you can go from Call of Duty to this, get used to the new functions, and still be able to play Throw the a grenade into Call each of Duty the stuff. windows. Four out of four. Nicely done. Four out of four. Nicely done. Do I get like a treat for doing stuff right? Because I didn't do shit right like that before in the first training. Combat scenario initialized. Here we go. Destroy all opposition in the area. This kill your opponents. Let's go. Use all your skills. Your and mini kill. map is located in the upper left corner of your AR display. Look for the small dots on your mini map to find all the enemy troops. All right. Let me show you the Assassin's Creed shit I was talking about. I'm invisible. He can't see me. He can't see me. He can't see me. Let's go! Do you see what I know? Oh, shit! Let's go. Let's get out of here. You see that? You see that? Let's go. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Invisible. You can't see me. Look, can't see me. And let's break his fucking neck. Minimal damage sustained Look at that. during live fire exercise. Well done. Combat scenario initialized. Hostile Titanfall imminent. Hostile Titanfall. Titans will not take substantial damage from small arms fire. Switch to your anti-Titan weapon. Anti-Titan weapon, dog. So when them Titans come through. This is your this is your this is your weapon. You don't want to destroy the Titan with your anti-Titan weapon. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Let's turn invisible. He can still see me on invisible. Oh you bitch! Oh fuck! Let's go. For this certification, death simulation has been disabled. As a pilot, I fucked up. When your view screen tints red, you are close to death. Avoid taking damage for a short time 
and your health will restabilize. Once the red tint on your screen fades away, you have fully recovered. Oh shit! Let's get out of here! Oh man, these things are- Let's get some cover, man! Good job. What Taking the? on a Titan is very dangerous, even with the right weaponry. It is. Pilots earn credit towards their next Titan drop by engaging in combat. Once your Titan is built, you can drop your Titan onto the battlefield. To continue, please initiate Titanfall. Now for the Titanfall itself. Here we go. We're gonna drop this bitch right here. Look to the sky to watch your Titan fall into battle. Get close to your Titan to mount up. That shit is real! Titans are designed to be a natural extension of the pilot. Firing your Titan's primary weapon is as easy as firing a pilot weapon. Kill the hostiles arriving in drop pods. Let's do it. Let's do it. Huh? Did I kill them already? No, oh, I think I did. Oh shit, okay, let's go, let's go. Let's show you the power of this Titan. Let's go! Where, where's the enemy? Oh, there we go. Let's go. Hey, what's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Where the enemies? Where the enemies? Hey, I see you. Don't hide from me. Hey, what are you doing in there, buddy? Let's go. Let's walk on them. Yeah, we can step on niggas! Let's go! Come on, where you running to, buddy? Come on, nigga! Don't Excellent. run from me! Combat scenario complete. Pilot training mod. I know this training's taking a while, but aren't you learning the game now? Don't you feel good that you're learning the mechanics? Titans can dash laterally to perform fast directional changes. To proceed, Please dash in any direction you like. Dash to your right. Dash Two. backwards. The dash meter is located beneath the crosshair on the Titan cockpit display. Each blue box represents one dash. Dash forward. Good job. Please proceed to the exit. Titans frequently dash to avoid threats in combat. Move down the hallway while avoiding the rockets. Let's go. You see? Simple. Simple. I don't think you can jump with the Titan though. But you can dash. So I guess, you know, how would that big ass thing jump? But you know, hey, it's still cool. Still cool. To defend against ranged threats, Titans can be equipped with the Vortex Shield. This weapon absorbs incoming ballistics for a limited time, then refires them. This thing is amazing. The Vortex Shield. Well played. Well, let me walk on these bitches. See? So if they shoot something, there's a point where you can just absorb everything and throw it back at them. It's incredible. This stuff all seems OP, Skilled but when it's in the battlefield, it's crazy. Disembark from their titans on the battlefield. To continue, disembark from your titan. Press and hold the X button. Head into the control room to open the gate for your titan. You see, when you see up here, it says, you know, Etika, W Network. Auto Titan, you see? So it's pretty cool. Hold X to hack. Here's the hidden blade. Here's the hidden blade. Watch this. Oh my god. It's a fucking computer. Titans can control their Titan's AI when they are on foot. The AI can be toggled to follow you 
or guard its current location. The lower right corner of your pilot HUD displays your Titan's current AI mode. Put your Titan into follow mode and it will when your Titan is in follow mode, it will try to stay close to your position. Get close to your Titan and re-embark. Let's go. This part, I love this part. It grabs you? Get the fuck in my belly! To continue, pilot your Titan to the exit. Get in my belly! Crazy. Titan combat scenario. So now you're fighting other Titans now. Oh my god, dudes. Titans also carry offhand weapons into combat. These weapons can be fired at times when primary weapons are unavailable, which enhances your Titan's combat effectiveness. Your Titan has been equipped with the rocket salvo. Try firing your rocket salvo now. Let's go. Be sure to deploy offhand weapons to maximize your firepower in combat. Prepare for your final combat test. Try to use all of the skills you have learned. Enemy Titan shields temporarily disabled. Here we go, fight another Titan, let's go. Let's go, let's kick his punches at Let's wave go. Wave survived. Prepare for the next wave. Where, 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 where? Next wave incoming. Be advised, enemy titans may now appear with more advanced weapons. Oh boy. Let's go. Let's beat his ass up. Let's beat his ass up. Each titan has a shield that deflects incoming damage. Your shield bar wraps above the health bar at the top center of your HUD. If you avoid taking damage for a short time, your shields will recharge. The best pilots will monitor their Titan's shields in of combat, course, obviously. taking breaks to you recharge as necessary. Oh, you pulled the soldier out! Oh, shit! Let's use that salvo. Your Titan's health bar status is located at the top center of your HUD. Who you saw that? Notice that when if your you health bar goes down, to melee, it you will can not replenish. Pull him out of the Once fucking your Titan. health bar is depleted, your Titan Humans is inside doomed of Titans. to die shortly. Titan shifters? Ha! Huh? Okay. Let's go. Hey, I like those bullets. Take these shits back, nigga. Come here! Get out of that fucking survived. tank. Let's go. Prepare for the next wave. Another wave? I got it. Let's go. Where, where, where? Next wave incoming. Enemy Titan shields online. Use caution. Your shields are online. Okay. Critically damaged. Combat veterans refer to this as doomed state. Your Titan will inevitably self destruct once it is doomed. In this simulation, you will have infinite time to eject. This will not be the case in actual combat. Shit. You must eject before your Titan goes critical. Let's get the fuck out of here. Eject. When you eject, you can use the higher vantage point to plan your next move. Excellent. Your pilot combat certification is complete. And that, my friends, is Titanfall, Titanfall's training. So now you all understand the basics of handling For your Titans. Safety, please stay in the training pod to regain your equilibrium. What the hell's going on? All hands, listen up. We're five minutes out from Horizon Station. Violet, this is your stop. You got ten minutes to collect your gear and get off my boat. Welcome to the frontier. 
Let's go, baby. Let's go. We're ready. We're ready. We did the training. We did everything that we need to. And now we're ready to go into the world of Titanfall. You all know the basics. We all know how to break these Titans down. We know how to parkour. We know how to move around. We know how to auto fire. We know how to do everything. Now let's get into the game. I'll see you in the multiplayer video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.